morning. Hi, this is Travis from National Weather Service, and this is your weather has a briefing for Thursday, August 15th. Look at the current water, water vapor imaging. So we have west-northwest flow over our area. There's a low here that's um, over Washington that will move over us later today. We'll see some um, isolated showers and thunderstorms along the Montana line. You can see kind of a little bit of a dry slot here. We'll have some breezy winds today, and I'll show you those values here in a minute. Looking at the model GFS, you can see that low here over Washington as it moves over close to our area this afternoon into early evening. You see those showers and thunderstorms along the Montana Divide and also the Wyoming, northern Wyoming um, line with Idaho. As far as our surface map, you can see that's depicted as well as far as those where those showers and thunderstorms are this afternoon into early evening. And you can see our max temperatures here are just slightly above normal for today. And our min RH uh, did it increase. It looks like it's going to increase over yesterday with that system coming in. But we do have some critical, near critical values near the Arco Desert, um, just barely critical, um, reaching that 15% um, value. Um, as far as our wind gust, um, that is also the area, um, just a very isolated area near the Arco Desert that's going to reach that criteria of the 30 miles an hour. So it's 25 miles an hour across the ridge tops uh, elsewhere, and you can see that's going to be reached. Um, across the central mountains, but the, the RHs are, are not critical. Um, and then you can see we have some critical winds elsewhere. But again, this zone uh, does not have critical fuels, nor does it have critical RHs. So it's going to be reached relative humidity tomorrow, is, uh, today as well. Um, looking at the surface map for Friday, you can see high pressure. Um, um, it's going to be fairly dry. This is high pressure down below. And then as far as our max temperatures, they do um, re drop um, near normal um, with that cold front kind of going through. Um, drop this cold front going through today into tomorrow morning or Friday. So you can see the, the temperatures have dropped slightly there. And our min RHs um, remain about the same, maybe dropping slightly. Um, as far as our winds, you can see that they're not quite critical across the Snake River Plain, not reaching that 30 miles an hour. Um, critical value, but they are reaching uh, some areas, some of the ridge tops, the 25 mile an hour, but it's not widespread. Again, these areas are not where we have um, critical um, RHs, relative humidity, nor are the fuels critical at this point either. So looking on Saturday, you can see that uh, clear over our area, uh, maybe a troughing, um, a dry trough as we go into that more zonal flow. It will be quite breezy. I'll show you that here. Temperatures do start to rise just slightly, but just slightly above normal, if not at normal. And then as you look at your min RHs, they are dropping quite, um, you know, below the 15% critical value over a lot of the air valley areas. Um, this does look like the day we may need a, a potentially a red flag. You can see well into the 30 mile an hour uh, range as far as. Um, know very close to 30 miles an hour across the whole Snake River Plain and then the ridge tops are definitely in the 25 mile an hour range but again these uh, fuels aren't critical in these zones here so uh, we'll not like a red flag so we'll look at down here we're 427 where it is uh, critical fuels we will likely need one here as well as uh, 410 and 425 for Saturday looking at the long term you can see that we have a zonal flow changing on Sunday into more of a southwest flow as we have a trough digging up the Pacific coast and the high pressure building in across um, the Four Corners areas. Uh, I mean dry all the way through the end of the period through Wednesday and just uh, warming temperatures 4 to 8 degrees above normal Sunday into uh, Wednesday. And that concludes the brief. If you have any questions, give us a call here at this number. Thank you.